Hello everyone. In this session, we will continue, continue the previous topic that is power angle curves in cylindrical rotor as well as salient pole rotor. Now we will continue. The next term is steady state stability. Steady state stability. So it is a very very important thing. So every machine is working, but to maintain the stability is the most important thing. Here we will look at the definition. The highest amount of power which can be transferred from a receiving end of the system without affecting the synchronism is termed as the steady state stability limit. So for example, so we have the alternator. For example, this is the alternator. It will generate some power and this power will be given to the grid. So this power will be given to the grid. So this is the electromagnetic power. So it has it gets some fault. It gets some fault. But due to the fault, the synchronism should be maintained. That means the sending amount of power is not uh, is not stop here. The power will be supplied. The power will be supplied. Okay. Then it is named as the steady state stability limit. This is called the steady state stability limit. Understand? So maximum amount of power that can be transferred from the system to the output without affecting the without losing the synchronism without losing the synchronism is known as the steady state stability limit so this is called the steady state stability limit okay next next term is synchronizing power coefficient synchronizing power coefficient we have another names we can call it as the different different names that name is Synchronizing power coefficient or stability factor. The another name is the stability factor. This is also another name. And next, rigidity factor. The another name is the rigidity factor. Or stiffness of coupling. Stiffness of coupling. These all are the different names for the synchronizing power coefficient. This is also very very important thing. Just look at here. Here the synchronizing power coefficient is like this. The synchronizing power co synchronizing power is the is the synchronizing power coefficient is represents with P synchronize is the rate at which synchronous power varies with respect to del okay how the synchronizing power is varies synchronizing power is different as the synchronous power varies with respect to del it measured degree of stability so by using this so how much of uh, degree stability is we can measure here so here Stability is generally pro proportional to the synchronizing power. So if you find out the synchronizing power, we can get the stability. Here, the synchronizing power formula equal to dp by d del. So all of you know that what is the power formula? d by d del of synchronizing power is ev by x into sin del. This is the formula. So here ev by x is the constant term then sin del will become the cos del sin del will become the constant then the synchronizing power equal to we can write ev by x into cos del we can define the synchronizing power is ev by x into cos del so this is the formula for the synchronizing power coefficient so here we can draw the graph between power power with respect to load angle power with respect to load angle and synchronizing power with respect to load angle here the power is like this so power formula you know that power formula is simply ev by 
x into sin del this is the power formula if del value is 0 then power value is become 0 if del value is 90 then it will become the maximum power then here the maximum power equaled ev by x so this is the maximum power next then del value is 180 whenever the del value is 180 then the power will become 0 then the power will become 0 that means this will reach this point this will reach this point okay here the curve is maximum power is like this but if you draw the curve between synchronizing power as well as load angle then how it varies this is related to cos del so here the formula is cos del if the del value is 0 then cos 0 is the maximum ev by x this is the point then if del value is 90 degrees then it become the 0 then if del value is 180 it will become the minus p max minus p max then this will be like this then this will be like this right understand so then the maximum power this is the this curve is related to synchronizing power this curve is related to synchronizing power just observe here the maximum power is follow this curve and the synchronizing power is follow this curve follow this curve this is the relation between the power and the synchronizing power coefficient synchronizing power coefficient here the power formula is ev by x into sin del and synchronizing power is ev by x into cos del okay next so we can analyze some important points from this here so here the criteria for stability so if if we want to become the system is stability by using the synchronizing power here if the system the generally the synchronizing formula equal to db by detail must be positive that means synchronizing power should be positive it should be the stability if the dp by detail is positive system is stable system is stable so we, we have the power formula then we will do the synchronizing power then we will get that value is the positive simply system is stable if it is negative then the system is unstable system system will become the unstable if the system dp by detail value is zero then the system is critically stable critically stable so this is a very very important so that's why the synchronizing power coefficient will decide the stability of the system so finally we can give some conclusion that is the stability of the any system will be proportional to the synchronizing power and the synchronizing power is proportional to the no load induced emf and the no load emf is proportional to the flux flux is proportional to the field current that field current is proportional to the excitation field current is proportional to excitation this is the very very important relation this is the very very important relation now finally by using this relation we can give some conclusion that is the stability is proportional to the excitation here the conclusion is like this the stability is proportional to the excitation so we will conclude that stability of the alternator will depends on the excitation if excitation is increases excitation is increases excitation means giving the dc supply to the field then automatically system stability also increased system stability also increased right here and so we can give some conclusion and over excited synchronous machine is more stable than under excited machine so this is the important thing if we have the one machine that is over excited over excited means the required field is uh, more than the uh, the the given field is more than the required field then this is called over excited machine if the machine is under excited under excited this is over excited machine and this is the under excited machine 
okay here under excited means the required field is the that field is less than the required field then this is called under excited machine so the stability is always high for the over excited machine so this is over excited machine the stability is high next so we can give some points here the mostly used power factor of synchronous motor are 0.8 lead 0.9 lead and unity power factor unity power factor so generally we are preferring that the lead means the here itself we have the more excitation is available lead means more excitation is available unity power factor means the required excitation is possible next if excitation increases marginally stability increases it can withstand any problem this is the important thing if the excitation value increases marginally stability also increases it can withstand the any problem it can get the it can avoid the any problem next longer air gap more synchronizing power than the smaller air gap because so a system which has a more air gap and compare with the smaller air gap then it has the more synchronizing power the reason is simple reactance of longer air gap is less than the reactance of smaller air gap reactance of longer air gap is less than the reactance of the smaller air gap we will use this conclusion we will use this conclusion okay so this is about synchronizing power coefficient steady state stability and and so for synchronous motor what are the power factor conditions okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you